bit of a tight fit. I just put this on. It was a bit of a tight fit, not really. Um, I got it on in a little bit, and then I used the old one to just push it down like that. This one slides on fairly easily, but maybe that's because it's cracked. Now let's put this sucker back on. Um, before you guys put a new optical wheel on there, uh, the black piece underneath that holds the circuit board, this one, there's two screws, one on this side and one on the other. I've heard that may come loose a little bit over time, uh, and it may not be the optical disc encoder that needs replacing. All you have to do is just, shoot, all you have to do is just tighten it down a little bit, and it might solve your problem, but my problem was that disc thing, so... I have to get it replaced. Before I purchased the replacement, I opened up the case and I actually uh, just took everything off and put it back together. And it and I was playing uh, Gran Turismo 5 for about, I don't know, 10, maybe 7 to 10 minutes, something like that. And the steering wheel was hooped again. So just to let you guys know, all right, let's throw this thing back in here. Make sure it's everything's in order. Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to tighten all these screws back in. Hook up the circuit board and the steering wheel. plug everything back in see if this baby will run I apologize if you guys can't see everything clearly I don't have the greatest camera equipment at the moment but soon enough I will saving some money for a better camera anyway so one pretty sure I screwed something up here at one point but Whatever. I've got nothing to lose at this point other than my $37 <laughs> for that steering wheel thing, for that optical disc encoder. Why isn't this cooperating right now? Shiza. There we go. Alright. For now, we seem to be back in business. Everything's connected, everything's ready to go. Disc encoder is right in there. Let's put this wheel back in. put this back in connect this sucker there we go carefully I'm gonna push that back in there a little bit
just going to lightly throw these in there and then adjust everything afterwards. Make sure when you're putting all these screws back in that you put them in correctly because I don't know, with my experience, I've been known to strip a screw or two. I'm sure everyone who works on cars or messes around with electronics from time to time, I'm sure they have once in a while. But just be careful. If the screw is, you know, giving you a lot of trouble, like if it's super tight in the beginning, that means you're probably stripping it. It should go fairly smoothly like this one I don't know what it is with the Logitech G25 but every time I take the steering wheel off this part the column uh, that's connected to the column it's always kind of tight but it never strips Now the last and final thing, I should have done this earlier, but you got to put these little four screws back in at the bottom, so carefully flip it upside down. So with everything back together, other than that little case and then the big case, once again, make sure everything's plugged in correctly. It's pretty self-explanatory, it's not a big deal. And uh, test it out. We'll see if this works. All right guys, moment of truth, turning the PlayStation on. Let's see if this works. Well, that's it. That's how you put it all together. Just wanted to point out one last thing. This new brass encoder that I got. That one right there. I don't know if you guys see it because lighting is kind of dim. But that new piece, make sure it is not touching the circuit board and the black sensor that's behind the circuit board. There are two infrared sensors behind that circuit board right there. Uh, one that is white, um, maybe it's a little bit more on the translucent side, so white kind of color, and the other sensor is black. Make sure the disc is as close as possible to the black side, um, just because the optical disc encoder, this new brass one, it's a little bit, it's, it's slightly thicker than the original plastic one that comes with the G25, so uh, the sensor may have a tough time reading it if it's uh, a little bit further away. So just put it slightly um, closer, but make sure it's not touching the sensor and not touching the circuit board because that piece moves, so you don't want to ruin anything. But that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, I'm going to put the case back on and play some uh, Gran Turismo. And on another note, I'm not too sure if you guys see this. I'm holding a flashlight. <laughs> but... Um, Right here, this thing that I'm touching with my little screwdriver, that piece, make sure it's aligned correctly with the steering column. Alright, I'm not sure, too sure if you guys see this, but in between this motor and then this bracket thing, when I have the steering wheel apart one last time, I'll take a picture of it, but there's like a flat piece that has some uh, teeth on it. And at the end of the um, steering wheel column, there's some teeth on it as well. You can call it gears or whatever you want. And um, make sure that that flat piece is aligned perfectly dead center with the center column. As you can see here at the bottom, this plastic flat piece right there, that's what I'm talking about. There's a line here with some glue on it right there. There's another line there. 
make sure this flat piece is as center as possible uh, or halfway as possible on this line same thing on the other side you just make sure that's a good way of telling uh, that's a good way of knowing that it's it's center um, you could count the gears and put it dead center but that's a good way of knowing mine was slightly off when I put it all back together and uh, it wasn't calibrated the G25 wasn't calibrating correctly but I just quickly took it apart and centered it and now it's all good to go so just some final notes for those of you who are going to be doing this and uh, that's it